What up? So we're back in New York. Successful road trip to Tennessee. I went over there to get these Suzuki cappuccino rims. And then this exhaust that I would love for someone to let me know what it goes to. Shout out to All Things JDM. He actually gave me this for free. If you guys don't know, that's where I order 99% of my parts from. And speaking of parts, I actually have a huge box inside, so stay tuned for that video. I got spark plugs, spark plug wires, ETC readers, Blitz Bowl 5 kit. I have a lot of stuff that I recently ordered, but I would love for someone in this video, I mean, I think it's kind of a long shot, but he doesn't know what car this goes to. If anyone has installed this into their car, let me know. He said it's a random K exhaust. We can assume that it's not for an Acti, it's not for a Sandbar. Uh, we don't really even know it's for a K truck in general, but it's obviously pretty small. Maybe like a two inch right there. Looks like it's in good condition. I'm hoping that I could use it for the car it's for. If not, maybe I just throw it on the Minica. Maybe I just, I don't know, cut it right here and do my own little DIY cat back. And speaking of the Minica, I think I'm gonna throw these rims on there. They're 14 by four and a half. So I just want to paint them white. The tires are completely shot, so I got to get some new tires, but I think they got some potential. But you see the title, you know what time it is. I'm on my way to Jersey right now to pick up my new K car. If you haven't already, join the Honda B Waffle. We're down to the last 69 slots. I'm thinking that should be done by next weekend. I got some big plans for the Minica. I've been telling you guys that over and over. I have a 30 day, about like a 40 day project timeline because I'm doing something in December. I don't want to tell you guys just yet, but I'm doing something in December and I want to get it done prior to that. So I already have a list of things I want to get done on the Minica, like tires, rims, underglow, spark plugs, wires, you know, oil change, maintenance. We got to do all that, clean it up for sure definitely get that hood fixed i'm gonna drive to that same place we went to last time that got the beat stuff painted i asked him already i showed him a couple of videos he hasn't seen it in person he said it was only gonna be about 500 dollars to get that fixed and you know that's not a bad price it definitely if they paint it over as well so maybe i'll just go with that route and then you know like my typical stuff yellow calipers probably do some sound deadening probably do some interior uh modifications as well because from what I remember, it doesn't have, I think it's such a base model that it doesn't have like carpet over like the wheel wells and stuff like that. So I definitely want to get some carpet like that. It kind of reminds me of the Jimny. And you know, turn it into a fun car, a nice car that someone will want to buy and I can flip it before my December project. But I'm about like an hour and some change away. Let's drive over there. Let's hopefully the car makes it back. Let's hope that this is a nice smooth video. We don't have any breaking down on the highway, breaking down on the interstate. Because I'm really excited for this. I haven't had a new car since June, which, you know, to some people might not sound like a long time but the beat has been done for a while already i kind of just been enjoying it and just loving how fun that car is but the minica is such an exact opposite it's automatic it's slower it's bigger i guess but not really it's still kind of a two-seater and getting new cars as you guys know i'm sure you guys have bought cars before it's such a just fun process and like i'm i'm also challenging myself to get this done prior to december because i kind of need to so yeah let's see what happens hopefully everything goes good hopefully we don't have any catastrophic failures or nothing like that and i catch up with you guys once i get to jersey next stop minica here she is we're gonna look into that smoking. It's nothing too crazy. Interior is decent. The reason I said it's a two seater is because as you can see on these seats, I mean, they don't go back at all. I guess we could look into it. But back here, there isn't any um, carpet. So I think I'm gonna get some felt fabric, cover all this up with some black, get all this covered in black, put some sound deadening all around. It does come with Minica floor mats, which I really like. 66,000 kilometers it's a 98 so we got an hour and four minutes till we get back to my house let's pray for the best we got my homie in the rental and i would say my only real concern is the highway i haven't got this car up to you know 50 miles per hour and stuff like that so i'm just curious to know how it's gonna do automatic k cars for the most part aren't the best this one's a three speed so i mean it should do okay but it's official we got the title right there Let's make it home in one piece and I keep you guys updated throughout the route. So I'm driving for about 15 minutes now and I have a question for all my Mitsubishi K owners. So when I owned my Bravo, the temp gauge where it's currently at right now was normal. But in this car, it shot up a little bit to maybe half, which is normal on most cars. 
And I just want to know if you own a Minica specifically or a Mini Cab or a Bravo or any Mitsubishi K car, or Topo. Let me know where your temp gauge is because I think this is normal, but I'm not sure. For example, I've been sitting in traffic for the last 15 minutes and now it's at the middle, which again is normal for like, I feel like every car, but my Bravo never did this. It had the same type of temp gauge and um, it only hung out right here and never went above that line. So I'm just curious. The car is fine though. You know, the fan, I hear it kick in. It turns right back off. It's kind of going down a little bit right now. But uh, if anyone can help me out with that. As far as the car though, driving great. I don't feel smooth. Just got to clean it up a bit. I'm looking forward to this project. I'm hoping that it's nothing, obviously. I don't want to return the car to the guy. I don't want to, you know, I kind of had my eyes set on that black auto. That couldn't happen. Now I have my eyes set on this white Minica. If that doesn't happen, I don't know what plan C is going to be. Update. This is officially the fastest I've gone in the Minica. We're going about, what's that, 52 miles per hour. Temp gauge is back to what I think is normal, but it's taking it fine. Feels good. Power steering. Feels nice and tight. I can't wait to put some rims on here. the Minica I was sold at 3200 that's really all I need to know as long as the car was driving and the interior looked like this that's really all I needed to buy it and after driving it for the last hour and a half it's such a good car like I'm gonna pull the e-brake right now it's such a good car it is such a fun car that I know is automatic blah 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 I wish it was turbo I wish it was all that but for $3,200 with title with a title it's just I don't know if like this might be one of the best K cars I've ever owned just because of the amount of things, the amount of money I'm gonna be able to put into it. I'm not gonna go crazy. I might paint the whole car though. We'll get into that, you know, in the future. But at that price, it leaves you with so much wiggle room, at least for me, because you know, I don't like putting like ten thousand dollars into these type of cars, but at that price, I can put three thousand, which is a lot of money. That costs as much as the car into this and still be at like six. And still, in my opinion, I think be able to sell it for maybe six, maybe seven, make a little bit. But if I could have fun throughout the process, make some fun content for you guys, it's a win for me. But I'm really loving this car. Like, I'm going to pull the e-brake again. I just... Oh, my God. I don't care about these tires. That's the only reason I'm doing that. And just like that, Project Minica has officially started. Let's do one last 360. I'm gonna talk about some of my future plans, some of the parts I already bought. Because after driving this car for the last hour, like I mentioned a bunch of times, it's only $3,200. I don't wanna go too crazy, but I don't want to only put a couple hundred dollars into it and then try to sell it for like six. You know, that's not really something I wanna do. So as we all know, area number one, something I wanna get fixed right away is this because although I don't need to technically fix it, I feel like if this is gonna be a way for the fame project, I want the car to be a lot better for whoever owns this next. And I asked the same people who painted my mirrors black and painted all this black, how much something like that would be. I showed them some videos and some pictures I had, and he said around five, $600, which isn't bad, but I asked him how much for the whole car. He said around 15, 16. So it really had me thinking because for an extra thousand dollars, I can get the whole car painted white again. I just don't know if it's worth it because the only real imperfections are like some surface rust right there. The roof is flawless. Back here you have something small right there. Back bumper's all good. This quarter's fine. Again, you have some more surface rust, some little areas there. And then this, of course, this is, that's gonna happen no matter what. And then right here, this technically doesn't need to get fixed. It's not like it's broken, but it doesn't look as good as this side. So let's see what happens. Interior wise, what I wanna do is, I wanna fix the speakers, they're not working. I want to swap out the radio to an American one. Back here, I want to add some carpet all around. Maybe add some sound deadening. Although the motor and everything's in the front, I think this bare white makes the car just look too basic. I want to see if I can find a spoiler that goes right there. It makes the car look a thousand percent better, but I just can't find it in Japan. And then these hubcaps and tires are for sale if anybody wants them. I think the production year is 2019 and they're 135 80 12s. Wow, I didn't realize they were that small because we're gonna take those off and I wanna put these Suzuki's on. Hopefully they don't rub, they're 14 by fives. And then I'm just gonna get some new tires, paint these white, just like the car. I wanna go on the white and white look, I missed that. And in here, I ordered a strut bar, brand new. You guys know I'm a strut bar fanatic. So I'm hoping this fits. 
And then in this box, I got spark plugs, spark plug wires, oil filters, air filters should be here soon for the Minica. And some more secret stuff that we'll get into later, but I'm gonna end this video here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.